can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the real values of x and y. Given these equations, x cubed plus 3xy squared equals 14 and y cubed plus 3x squared y equals negative 13. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, take note that x and y here are both real numbers. Alright, so to answer this question, let's get the equation x cubed plus 3xy squared equals 14 and y cubed plus 3x squared y equals negative 13. Now, this x cubed, 3x squared y, 3xy squared, and y cubed, those terms are very familiar because recall the expansion of x plus y raised to the power of 3. If we expand this, we get x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. And that's exactly these terms. So why not? Let's add these two equations like this. And 14 minus 13, we know this is just 1. Now, x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. We know we can factor this out. We can write this as x plus y raised to the power of 3. And take note, this one is just 1 raised to the third power. So we can say that x plus y equals 1. We have one equation involving x and y. So let's keep this equation. And again, let's get the two equations that we have. Instead of adding, why not? Let's subtract these two equations like this. And 14 minus negative 13 is just positive 27. Now, this is good because this 27 is a perfect cube also, which is 3 raised to the power of 3. And notice, if we expand x minus y raised to the power of 3, we get an alternating sign. We have positive, negative, positive, and negative. And in our given equation, if we rearrange some terms a little bit, this is exactly this expression. So we have positive x cubed minus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared minus y cubed. So we can replace this by x minus y raised to the power of 3. Again, this 27 is 3 raised to the power of 3. So we can say that x minus y equals 3. Now, Using these two equations, we can also solve for the values of x and y because we want the real values of x and y. So if we add these two equations, take note that we can eliminate the variable y. This is just equal to 0. So we have 2x equals 1 plus 3 equals 4. So to solve for the value of x, divide both sides by 2. And 4 divided by 2, this is just 2. So x is 2. And if x is 2, so we have 2 plus something equals 1. Definitely, y equals negative 1. Therefore, the only real values of x and y that satisfies this equation are 2 and negative 1. So we can check this out. So we have 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 times negative 1 raised to the power of 2. So this is just 8 plus, we have 8 plus 6, and 8 plus 6 is simply equal to 14. Now on the second equation, y is negative 1, so negative 1 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared times negative 1. So this is just negative 1. And uh, 3 times 2 squared is 4, so we have 12. And times negative 1, we have negative 12. So negative 1 minus 12 is definitely negative 13. And therefore, our answer to this question is x equals 2 and y equals negative 1. And as always, we are done.